In this video, I want to explain how I do my presentations using only the Vim editor. I got asked many times how I create presentations like the following, where it basically looks like ASCII art um, slides or where it you know, looks like an editor. And actually what I'm doing here, this is only Vim using some, well, special settings. So for example, I use you know, very basic slides, quote unquote, uh, like the following that I have some ASCII art shown here um, or some at least specific symbols and characters. Uh, this is usually one of the setup and then I can sure show some more stuff or I can show some ASCII art diagrams like I draw something to explain um, a specific concept like here or we have some subtitles involved which again is some ASCII art for text and it's also possible to you know start and display some other things like some pictures here or start a video or do some custom things like custom scripting and it's also actually possible to include some colors so that is um, because um, you can have some specific scripting or some specific syntax, although this is just a text editor by having some coloring like this one or like that to include, you know, a little bit more of fanciness in your slides. So I have to say, I usually, the reason why I use such a setup is, well, first of all, because I'm lazy and uh, because I believe in more, you know, advanced keyboard concepts and I like plain text. So I'm not a big fan of most what you see is what you get editors. And for me, that's just a basic thing or the most obvious thing to write my slides as normal text in a Vim or in a text editor. And this is what I'm doing here. So how the setup looks like is you can check out the doc files for my Vim setup. But basically, I use Vim in a specific uh, setting where I say, OK, if I start my editor, I can have some extra features like just hide everything that is not required. So to give you an idea, this is the current uh, directory with the slides that I just showed you. So if I open up some slides here, well, then it looks similar to this. You know, you see the line numbering. Uh, I usually use a relative uh, line numbering here and then, you know, some status bar and whatnot. And if I hit F5, then in this case, it will just hide everything that is not required. And I can use then a full screen mode in my uh, window manager to basically just show this. And then I can make the font uh, bigger or smaller to just, you know, scale to the appropriate side, size. And um, then what I do, so how I switch the slides is basically I switch the buffers. A buffer is just a file um, or well file buffer where, it's, uh, where it is loaded in Vim. And I can switch to the previous buffer and the next buffer. And then what I do, I just do things like, you know, like silent and redraw it without showing the status. So basically then I remap this to the left and right arrows that I can just, again, now in full screen, swap around without showing anything else. So this is how then I can smoothly just transition the slides without, you know, showing um, like a status that will just be um, annoying or distracting. So that is basically uh, the basic steps how to uh, show some plain text here in the Vim editor uh, with some custom remap uh, mapping. And then what is possible is, um, is that I can just edit some stuff here. So for example, well, this is just text, right? So I can say, well, here, hello world. And how I do the bullet points is just like they're a special character which is included in what is called snippets. So for example, I can create snippets like similar to, you know, live templates and IDEs or however you call them uh, by saying, okay, that is another bullet. Or I say, you know, do something like a check mark um, or cross something out or even uh, display a coffee mug here and things like that. So that is just Unicode. I basically show some characters. You have to pay attention on the uh, terminal font that you're using. And that is what I'm using here. Now for the ASCII art, what I'm doing, it's basically I use some call outs um, like uh, command line programs like uh, one is uh, called, I don't know, is it pronounced toilet or something like that um, to create ASCII art from just some input. And there are different like fonts and styles available, which I again just, you know, make uh, accessible using some shortcuts. So for example, if I say, well, have some, um, I don't know, like this available, uh, like uh, like it surrounds my um, my text here with some box and what it does it's just individual characters so these are specific Unicode characters 
uh, which I then can just use, you know, to draw things. So for example, I can say hello, and then another box. And then, you know, you can have some, um, for example, some arrows uh, in between uh, the other one, like, you know, something like this. And then, you know, you can start to draw basic boxes. It's not, you know, so the most simple uh, thing, but you get actually quite used to it by using the just normal Vim movements and command actions to draw um, diagrams like this. And then you can be creative using different characters in order, you know, to do the uh, normal ASCII art thing. The same works with titles because it's also just a call out to say, you know, like, um, for example, like, uh, like this, what I just did, that you say, okay, you can make it big by using the other uh, like bigger and smaller uh, call outs to say, okay, um, use this ASCII art um, program. And what it does, it calls an external command, which is this, and then Vim will substitute what you just are, um, what you did input here for the current line. So for example, to say, hello world, um, I can, you know, replace hello uh, and world with a different one. And this will just replace my current um, input with the ASCII art. And this is how I then do the titles. What I also have just to make it uh, easier to draw these, I have some uh, specific helper, which just displays my boundaries uh, here. So I say, okay, this is uh, actually how I would uh, shape them. So, you know, once I let's start from scratch, if I say here, hello world, and I make this to the title, then I just roughly know, you know, where to place it, where is roughly the middle of the text when I uh, make it big to display it in full size. So then, you know, it's just a little bit easier to uh, create uh, all of these slides here. Um, and then what else is possible? Are these call outs uh, like the following? So what uh, this is, it's basically just the scripting uh, where you say, okay, at the end of the slide, which is not shown because it's out of sight, I include something like a, a line, like uh, two exclamation marks colon, which is just um, a very um, custom way of you know including a command so for example i say uh, on load please have this uh, function um, and to be honest i'm not the biggest fan of vim script but i made it uh, possible to include something like this uh, to find and execute a command so if you have something like um, you know the exclamation mark and uh, colon then um, substitute while trying to get the command basically extract the command what i have here so in my case that's just it's going to be open and then you know the file name uh, what i had here with um so basically this is the command then that i'm executing and in this case well it just opens up my uh, picture here also then in full screen so it connects to my window manager it says display this in full screen and once you uh, close it then please transition to the next uh, slide which uh in this case uh, uh will you know show this uh, slide um, again and then transition so this is just, you know, a way to use Vim script to actually include some other commands that then uh, you can use uh, normal shell scripting. And then you're very flexible, especially in, if you're in a Linux environment or in an environment where you can use scripting to control your window manager and things like that. So you can really get creative and move things around or start other programs, start videos and, you know, do things just with automation, uh, which is very nice if you show presentations, because then you can just smoothly, you know, swap your slides or do something and then start. Um, an automated process without getting hectic on stage. You just press one key and then it's already showing what you desire to show. Now these um, are some color uh, includes and basically how this works um, is that you can include some so-called syntax files and that is a Vim specific file, you know, how to just do some syntax highlighting. So there are of course all of these files available for the um, typical uh, file endings like uh, programming uh, languages and syntax highlighting and things like that. But you can just match and, you know, create your own um, syntax where you say match some word uh, like, you know, this one and then just display it in a specific color. And now just notice that the usual uh, slides don't include anything. So that is just plain text and there's nothing else. This is really just syntax highlighting. So I don't include any special characters in my um, uh, in my code. So that is just, you know, very specific to this thing. And it's, you know, it's a very pragmatic and hacky way uh, to create uh, these things. So of course, if in another uh, slide, I would write, you know, um, awesome that it also uh, is red in this case. So, you know, you can 
um, get kind of creative to say I want to highlight a specific word. So I know this is not the most, you know, fanciest way to display colors or to make very, you know, uh, nicey or colorful looking presentations. But for me, this is a very pragmatic way of saying, okay, I want to get the point across and I always care about the actual content, you know, not the presentation, but that you just show what is essential, like, you know, some key takeaways here, and then you might highlight one specific thing or um, actually make it colorful. Uh, if you do some ASCII art diagrams to just highlight a specific name or a specific box, if you like, uh, and this is possible here um, as well then. And this is basically um, how I include um, all of these things. And um, I basically use, you know, like some Vim scripting uh, where I can. I have some small shell scripts, uh, like helper scripts available. For example, if I say, well, I create these um, uh, files also usually on the command line. And if I say, okay, um, I have something like a weird renaming while I'm creating the slides. So, you know, I, I just, you know, name them so they will be sorted la la uh, afterwards. So I have some scripts like, you know, please rename the slides to the correct order. And then it will just um, order whatever starts with slides into, you know, into a nice sorting so that it works later on if I just start um, my uh, Vim setup like this. And that is basically um, all of the magic I include to um, create my presentations using only Vim by using nothing else than just plain text slides as files, which are loaded in Vim buffers and where I use some specific well, scripting and some a little bit of magic uh, in my Vim to make uh, this look nicely and smoothly. You can check out my dot files uh, on GitHub. I will link it uh, in the video and I hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.